on the couch, so he's here, and we got little Angel right here. Mwah. So <laughs> she's sitting on the pillow on the side over here, cause she's a princess. <laughs> okay, so let's get started by welcoming some people to the community. Okay, Tuppy, welcome to the neighborhood. Watch out. No, this isn't that. <laughs> and Tuppy has a channel, so make sure you go by and check out Tuppy's channel. Blue-Eyed Angel, welcome back. We've missed you. Betsy Wetsy, definitely. Angel says welcome back to you. <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Betsy, well, let's see. Welcome back. We've definitely missed you, lady. I hope all is going well for you. And uh, shoot me an email. Real Madrid, welcome back. We've missed you, too. Justina, welcome to the neighborhood. Jenny Boyer, welcome to the neighborhood. Some of you guys may have channels, and I'm just unaware of it. So I'm saying to the... Saying... <clears throat> The people that I know have channels. If you have a channel and I don't say that, let me know and I'll just let everybody know next time. Um, Hallie Woe 112, welcome to the neighborhood. Rusty Faith, welcome back, we've missed you. Lisa Marie, welcome to the neighborhood. L. Robinson Gaming, welcome to the neighborhood. And they have a channel, so make sure you go by and check that out. Jay-Z Crazy, welcome back. We sure missed you. Uh, make sure you guys go check out his channel as well. Yo-Yo Max 12, hey Tammy, welcome to the neighborhood. Everybody make sure you go over and check out Tammy's channel. You will be hungry after watching that. Is that right? Yeah. The Gilroy family. I know I've mentioned their channel once before. They're not subscribed to us, but they are come highly recommended by several of our subscribers. So please go on, go on over and check them out. They have two daughters and one son, and all three children are autistic. So go on over, check them out, show them some support. Gypsy Soul. Hey there, girl. Want to make sure we give you a shout out. They also have a channel. Go by and check it out when you get a chance. So anyway, want to make sure that you guys go by and check out their channel as well. The Ant Life. Shout out to your channel. And they live in California and they're looking for somebody to hang out with. So she's going to hit me up later. Debs McLeod. Shout out to your channel. Make sure you guys go by and check out Debs McLeod. Okay. I don't know, weird today. What? These animals are weird. I know. What's going on? Must be a full moon out. <laughs> oh, that <was laughs> don't not a do good that. Idea. That was not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, just want to let everybody know because a couple of people have mentioned it. FYI, those of you that wear headphones when you're watching our vlogs, <clears> at <throat> the end. Turn it down Maybe I or should. take it off. I'll turn it down. How about that? Because Angel howls she's at loud. the end of every video. I'll turn it, I'll turn her down. Yeah, she's a little loud. It sounds a little strange when it goes down like that. But I'll Sorry. turn it. Anyway, let's do some birthdays. Happy birthday. Happy 78th birthday to my uploaded life, Jonah's Pepe. Happy birthday, Pepe. Happy birthday to Terry Johnson's husband, Bill, on Valentine's Day. So happy birthday and happy Valentine's Day to the two of you. Happy birthday, Megan! That's right, everybody. Megan's birthday was the 12th of February. Barbara Dragonflies said her dad would have been 103 on Megan's birthday and her husband would have been his 80th on Megan's birthday. Mm. So, pretty cool. My nephew Sean also, happy birthday to him on February 12th. Um, 
Jenny Boyer, Megan is very proud to share her birthday with Harley the dog and Louie the bunny. She loves animals. She's studying to be a vet, so she would be very happy to share those days. And a very happy birthday, those of you that know her, to my special niece, Crystal. That's right, her birthday is tomorrow, the 19th. So happy birthday to you, Crystal! I love 19? you! She's going to be 19, isn't she? Yes, she's going to be 19. She's still a rotten teenager. <laughs> well, she's a teenager. She's not rotten. Okay. Um, some channels I want to shout out to you guys. Um, Slevin's 92 YouTuber needs subs and watch time. Go check out her channel. Um, my Autistic Brain Tumor Survivor, you guys all know them. I talk about Bethany all the time. Bethany, I love you. Sylvia, I love you too. Um, I actually met them when I was back east after my father passed away on my trip driving up the east coast. They're wonderful, wonderful people, and I do not understand why they... Um, why they don't have more views yeah. more views so please everybody please <clears throat> help support them I know they're not going to make it in time for the cutoff date which is the 20th but give them as much watch time as you guys can and comments as you guys can and help them so when the channels do get reviewed that hopefully they will be approved um, my uploaded life Jonah hit his watch time but continue to watch him as much as you can. Um, they do have great content. They're great people. And, and they're ju it's just a great channel overall, guys. So continue to watch them as much as you can. Um, we, we love Joan and Shauna. And we really would love to go up there and visit them someday. But don't know if that's ever going to happen. Delta Knight's Delta Knight Vlogs. Um, definitely you guys should be watching that channel and um, giving um, him some support. So please go check out that channel if you haven't done so already. And again, I cannot stress this enough. If you have not done so already, please go and subscribe to our paranormal channel. Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors. <clears throat> it's too late for us, actually, too. But. Yeah, we're not going to hit <clears throat> a thousand subscribers, but we do need the subs, so when the channels do get reviewed, we do get approved. So please, please, please go and subscribe. Share that channel if, to, with anybody you know that is into that type of stuff. They will really enjoy that channel. And I'm not saying it just because it's our channel. I'm saying it because it's good. <laughs> so please uh, subscribe to the PIN channel. Okay, let's do um, thoughts and prayers. Debbie Morgan, her younger brother Bud, is having or had heart surgery at Mayo Clinic. So thoughts and prayers go out to Debbie Morgan's younger brother. Lipstick and Sofrito. Puerto Rico, her, her family lives in Puerto Rico. Mother-in-law finally has electricity and had to buy new stove and refrigerator. Sister-in-law and kids are packing up and moving to Florida. So they're still without power and stuff like that. Terry Johnson's <coughs> husband, Bill, is having some medical issues. So if everybody can keep Bill in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. My question last week was, what movie could you watch over and over again without getting tired of it? What's yours? Probably The Haunting. I have so, 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 so many. Just ask Kevin. So. If you ask me what TV show I can watch over and over and over again and not get sick of it, I have many of those too, but what one's my favorite? Uh, Walking Dead, maybe? How many times do you think I've watched that? I've, I don't know. It's always on the TV. <laughs> oh, 
always. <laughs> so here's what some of your guys' answers were. Jess Lucero said the big Lombowski and the final countdown. I it's the final countdown. I don't think I've ever seen either one of those movies. I've seen the big Lebowski. I, I don't but think I've I ever don't, seen. But I don't, I have not seen Final Countdown. I have not seen it. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <sighs> You're falling off my lap there, Fred. Oh, sorry. Don't step on the cat. Big D. Hey, Big D. I miss you. I love you. Mwah. Excuse me. Back to the Future Trilogy and the Karate Kid Trilogy. I would, I, out of those two, I would pick Back to the Future over Karate Kid. Wax on? Mar <laughs> Wax off. Maureen McLean. Hi, Mom. She says The Sting. I, I agree. That is a fantastic movie. Those of you who have never seen The Sting, it's a must watch. Do you want to get down now, Freckles, or are you okay? Oh. Oh. You okay, bud? You'll make it. You'll make it. Okay. Sherry Tate would rather not would rather watch a new movie so she doesn't get tired of them. It's understandable. But you gotta think at some point they're gonna have to stop making movies because there's no new plots. There's only like they say there's only like three plots out there, but it's okay. So but at some point come the end of the world and there's no more DV or no more movies being made and you oh, have to watch your DVDs. Stop your walking dead. <laughs> I won't be watching TV. I'll be playing with Daryl. <laughs> On Easy Street. And Tammy, no, no, no. You can't have my Daryl. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Tanya Longley says, The Wizard of Oz. That's a classic. I like that one. The Abyss. After our hearts here, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original or the remake? I don't know. He didn't say. The original or remake? Which one, Chris? Uh, Delta Knight Vlog. Uh, my dad my dad would be with you on this one 100%. Weekend at Bernie's. Those of you who haven't seen that movie, that's a funny movie. That's a, one of the, as Delta Logs puts it, feel better movies. <laughs> Unless you were uh, Bernie. <laughs> Poor Bernie. Um, Sherry Rayner, favorite TV. She doesn't have a favorite movie, but she put down a favorite TV show. And she's like this, like I am with uh, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. She had to have seen it at least 50 times last year alone. It's her go-to thing we, to watch when there's nothing else on. We haven't finished watching it. We, <laughs> I know. Because we, we're so, we, we can't get HBO. Yeah. You know, and it's not on Netflix, or, and we can't pay for anything. So yeah. We're done. Debbie Morgan likes the Doris Day movies. Pillow Talk, The Glass Bottom Boat. I used to watch a lot of that those movies with my dad. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> Um, Gypsy Soul likes Thelma and Louise. You be Thelma, I'll be Louise. Let's do it, girl! You're not taking my truck. <laughs> we have to get a convertible. It was a convertible, wasn't it? Whatever. Okay. You, you guys go steal whatever you want. <laughs> then we'll really have to have, have to have, have to have a re then we'll really have a reason to run from the cops. There, I said it. Can I not have that end in my face, please? <laughs> Terry Johnson, Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeves. Good movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. And Jerry Colburn says, Selena. Where did the watch come from? In Somewhere in Time? Yeah. Yeah. Where did it come from? It's a paradox. It's a paradox. Where did it come from? It's a paradox. Okay, before I ask my question, I want to let everybody watching know that... Uh, next Sunday, the 25th, at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, I am going to go live with all my coloring stuff, showing you all my supplies, 
what I use, if you guys want me to show you some coloring, how I do certain shadings and stuff, I will do that as well. And I'm going to show you all my colorings that I have done. Um, they are up for donations. If anybody would like any of them, I take donations. So there you have it. Now, my question for this week is, what mythical creature do you wish actually existed? And why? Jackalope. What? Well, snipe. You gotta wait till next. Oh, sorry. Shout outs to answer. And now I'm going to turn it over to Kevin so he can do his trivia thing with you. Is it okay? Can I get my hand back? Where's 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 the little one? I don't know. Got tired. Okay. So two weeks ago, I asked you about the new movie out called Winchester. That um, stars Helen Mirren, and the question was, how many rooms did the house have when she bought it? Because it was a house there already when she bought it. Uh, and uh, the answer was eight. And uh, I heard some people saying that they don't know where the original is anymore, but if you actually go to the Winchester house, you can tell. Because the original house was finely made with hardwoods like mahogany and walnut and oak and when she started building she she kind of built on the cheap everything was done with softwoods like uh, pine and fir and it was uh, just building for building sake almost so it, there's a whole section of the house that is just beautiful and the rest of the house is you know okay those who got that correct were terry johnson and uh, the abyss 92882 right um, Tanya and today's question it was about a, is about a movie that Val and I watched last week that we liked a lot and it was called Happy Death Day 2017 I don't know if it was in the theater or not but we don't see anything in the theater anymore um, and that's theater? A, what's that we had a Blumhouse production we, we were kind of aware of it because when we went to um, Universal Studios there was a whole Blumhouse um, uh, maze, and the characters from this movie was in there. And um, so that leads me to the question. The mask used by the killer is a baby doll, baby doll mask. And why did they decide to use a baby doll mask? Question. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We love each and every one of you. Can you make a No, I don't have the fingers for it. <laughs> <laughs> we love each and every one of you. I forget how I end these things. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> we would not be here if it wasn't for each and every one of you. We love you all. Thank you! Thank you, everybody! <laughs> How do I taste?